Chrysler Pacifica Pacifica Plug-in Hybrid with great deals going on now. Right now, get employee pricing for all. Plus, you may qualify for up to a $7,500 federal tax credit on 2023 Pacifica Hybrid Limited and Pinnacle models. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. Breaking news at four, two people seriously hurt in a small plane crash this afternoon in San Pedro. Details are still coming in right now. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Pedro Rivera. And Don Mary Beth McDade in this afternoon for Samantha Cortese. The pilot of that plane had to be pulled from the wreckage after the plane crashed down into a soccer field. Investigators saying this could have been much worse. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw is live in San Pedro with the latest. Jennifer. Yeah, no doubt a frightening and tragic ordeal for those two people aboard this small plane. We're out here near the soccer field where it crashed. You can see the fire department is out here as well. We're still waiting for investigators with the FAA to arrive. The plane is mangled and the tail is hardly recognizable. Take a look from Sky 5 up ahead. This happened around 1 this afternoon. The small plane taking off from Zamperni Field in Torrance, about five miles away from where we are. It went out briefly over the ocean for a total of a flight time for about 30 minutes. It may have been heading back when it crashed here in Wilmington. A witness was working on the goalpost on the soccer field at the time and saw the plane out of the corner of his eye and thought it was a toy until he says it came down hard and crashed. He raced over to the plane and tried to help the man and the woman trapped inside. I flung that door open so we were able to kind of get her out, um, get her seat off, um, able to pull her out. Uh, me and another uh, male were able to Pull, pull her out, guide her on, um, you know, onto the onto the floor. Uh, we didn't want to um, pull out the gentleman because he was, um, you know, in worse condition. It wasn't. I think he was un unconscious for sure. She was at least conscious. Both people were transported to the hospital. There was some fuel on the field, but no fire. This is actually called the Field of Dreams, a large area where hundreds of families play soccer and where, in fact, on the field, we're here this weekend. Additionally, there are huge hazardous propane tanks in the area. This location was the best possible outcome. Both patients were transported to uh, local hospitals where they're being treated at this time. Uh, as far as the um, determination and the cause is uh, under investigation right now, it's going to be led by NTSB and in addition with FAA. Uh, the only concerns that we have right now is uh, fuel on the ground, uh, which uh, we're going to be working to uh, control and clean up with uh, watershed. If it seems like we've had a lot of small plane crashes recently, well, you're not mistaken. The NTSB tells KTLA there have been 79 aircraft accidents so far in 2023 in California, mostly involving small planes. 17 of those accidents have been fatal. Van Nuys, Upland, Murrieta, and Big Bear have all seen deadly small plane crashes this year. And again, this particular plane crash is still under investigation, but we did retain audio that we believe that there could possibly have been engine failure. We'll listen to that coming up tonight at five. That's the very latest. We are live. I'll send it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Jen, thank you so much for that update. After 146 days on the picket lines, Hollywood writers and studios have reached a tentative deal to end the strike. Yeah, the deal still needs to be approved, but picketing has been suspended for WGA members. KTLA Sandra Mitchell is in Beverly Hills with the latest details. Sandy. Pedro, we do anticipate the WGA will release details about this proposed contract offer tomorrow. Then the members will be invited to informational meetings, and then they'll get a chance to vote on this contract. But even before that happens, the negotiating committee could actually let the writers go back to work. I can tell you here in Beverly Hills, there is a feeling that this is almost a done deal. At the Saban Theater today, Jews observing Yom Kippur, marking their fate for the new year, and many talking about the tentative new deal between Hollywood writers and the studios. Hollywood is back. It's never gone away. It's just, you know, it's like shattered. It's like a family argument. Uh, you, you didn't get to talk to your brothers, once not talk to your sister, but yes, Hollywood is back. The good news exploded on social media. A tentative deal that could end the writer strike. It dragged on for almost five months. Day 144 for the writers world. People were applying for help at a rate of $500,000 a week and going to food banks and you know so 
a lot of people.